Good evening. My name is Richard Booth and it's my privilege to be the head teacher here at Wallington. Um, a very warm welcome to everyone, a very warm welcome to Wallington High School for Girls. Um, how do I describe the school? Well, I'd say we are a happy, purposeful and vibrant school where our students can thrive, where they can achieve excellent qualifications alongside developing as confident, caring and articulate young women who are well prepared for their future lives and leave us believing that they can take on the world. This ambition for our students is reflected in our school motto, heirs of the past, makers of the future. And in order to achieve this, we aim to give our students the broadest possible education to the highest possible standard. We believe that an important part of this is an all-girls environment. This means that students at this school experience a daily culture of achievement, high expectations and purpose. It means that they're able to express themselves freely, which means that they can build their self-confidence, their self-belief in a very supportive and caring environment. It means that they experience teaching that is particularly aimed at the learning styles common to girls essentially a challenging yet highly supportive approach. It means our students be can become leaders. In a single sex environment, girls occupy every role. Girls can develop their leadership skills throughout their time with us, working with and leading others alongside building their resilience. And finally, nothing is off limits in an all girls school. From the wide range of extracurricular activities and experiences, to the ability to study a range of subjects. There is no such thing as a boys subject, evident by the very large number of our students studying and continuing to higher education in subjects such as engineering, science or maths. At Wallington, there are no glass ceilings or limiting expectations. So, I believe that there are three pillars on which this ethos and the success of our students is founded. And these three pillars are opportunity, nurture and excellence. And I want to briefly refer to each of these in turn. Firstly, opportunity. Academic success must be our focus, but providing a breadth of opportunities is what ensures a true education. At Wallington, we are committed, committed to developing the whole person. And we are very proud of the vast range of opportunities and extracurricular activities that are available that take place at lunchtime or after school and that we're able to offer for your daughter to be involved in. And this is reflected in the very high participation rates amongst our students. Sport here is excellent. We compete and are very successful in many sports at borough, county and national level, which include netball, cricket, football, gymnastics to name but a few. And only last week we won the Sutton Borough Athletics Competition for the seventh year in a row now. But we ensure that we provide sporting opportunities for all, not just the elite. Similarly, music, dance and drama are highly important in this school too. This year our school drama production was Sister Act, a simply outstanding production. So if your daughter likes drama, then this is an excellent place to be. If she likes music, there are a range of choirs, including a very successful and acclaimed gospel choir alongside other ensembles and orchestras. We run a hugely successful Duke of Edinburgh scheme with over 150 students from year 9 and above taking part. We enjoy a strong partnership with Wilson School and their combined cadet force. This has proved very popular with many of our students and they've very quickly risen to positions of responsibility in the unit. You'll find a wide range of clubs and activities on offer across all the year groups. There are too many to name. And our curriculum is also enriched with numerous trips and events for different year groups. We believe that it's important for our students to take on positions of leadership and responsibility within the school. And we look to instill a sense of service to the school community and beyond. Be it representing your form on the student school council, becoming a house captain or house leader, or being a prefect. There are plenty of roles for everyone. 
And we are a school that consistently has high expectations for our students. But we also ensure we are a school that supports our students to meet those high expectations. Which brings me on to my next point, nurture. The welfare of our students is central to the ethos here. We want our students to be happy and successful, but we know that it must come in that order. Wellington is a school where your daughter will find encouragement, understanding, support and care. A school where we celebrate success in all of its different forms. A school where we enjoy a strong sense of community, where students are taught that they have responsibility to support, encourage and to look out for one another, as well as encouraged to develop a sense of service and giving back to the school. Hopefully this is reflected in the number of students that you see here helping tonight. Behaviour here is excellent. We promote, promote a culture of respect for others and self-discipline, one where there's no need for bells and bullying is very rare. We pride ourselves on the quality of pastoral care here at Wellington Delivered by our highly professional and effective pastoral team. When joining us in Year 7, your daughter will enjoy a very comprehensive induction programme aimed at ensuring that she quickly settles into her new school. She will be placed in one of seven form groups, which form part of our house system, again an important aspect of our school culture. The form group creates cohesion and identity for the girls when they join us, and they stay together in that form group until year 11. Each group has its own tutor, who meets with them daily and whose role it is to have the overview of your daughter's progress and well-being. During the first of each of the first two terms, you'll have the opportunity to have a one-to-one -one meeting with your daughter's form tutor, as well as the usual parents' evening meetings with subject teachers. Each year group has a head of year who leads the tutor teams and has overall responsibility for supporting your daughter. And both the tutor and the head of year will move up with year groups uh, as your daughter moves through the school so they know their students exceptionally well. Each tutor group is also assigned two sixth form prefects who are there to provide help and support over the year, to be there as big sisters. And every new year seven is assigned a year eight buddy to help them when they join the school. We also employ a team of staff, including a school counsellor, to deal with any student issues that may arise. Progress in each subject is closely tracked and monitored by teachers, who are then quick to look at supporting students who may be underperforming. However, academic success is not inevitable. It does depend upon excellent teaching and high expectations, and it is rooted in our belief that successful schooling is not just passing exams at the highest level, but it's also about enjoying the subjects you study, developing new ideas, new interests and enthusiasms, both in and out of the classroom. Which brings me on to my final point, excellence. Wellington is consistently one of the top state schools in the country, and one that enjoys a well-deserved reputation for academic excellence. An important part of this academic excellence is that students at Wellington enjoy high quality teaching. Every class is taught by a well qualified subject specialist who is passionate about their subject and are committed to the school. Our staff turnover is very low and we retain our high quality teachers and that's something we're very proud of, especially given the problems with teacher recruitment and retention across UK schools nationally. We are certainly not a school that is complacent and we constantly aim to improve our teaching in the school. Training and development for all of our staff is central to our ethos and this is then reflected in the high standards that your daughter will enjoy when she joined us in Year 7. When you visit departments around the school this evening, this is what you will find. High quality, enthusiastic and caring staff. Excellence is also reflected in our curriculum which is academic and challenging, offering plenty of opportunities to go beyond the confines of exam specifications, so that it encourages our students to develop their thinking and study skills, as well as a genuine enjoyment for learning. But it's also a broad and balanced, but it's also broad and balanced with a wide range of options at GCSE and A-level to encourage our students to broaden their minds. 
It also reflects the best of the old and the best of the new, where traditional subjects such as arts, humanities and sciences coexist in equal value with the latest developments in computing and design technology. Our facilities support this curriculum, including a brand new library and study centre for the whole school, which was opened at the end of last year. And we are currently building two new science labs to further enhance our science provision. As a result, our academic record speaks for itself. Last summer, 74% of GCSE results were A star A. And using the government's new achievement measure, called Progress 8, we were one of the top 30 schools in the country for progress at GCSE. At A level, our students gained 59% A star A grades, with just under a quarter of grades at A star. This meant according to the Times newspaper, that we were fifth nationally for state girls' schools. Nearly all of our students go on to university, with the vast majority of these places being at Russell Group universities. Over 40 of our students have offered, been offered places at Oxford and Cambridge over the last three years, and currently 18 of our students are holding Oxbridge offers. Wallington is also a member of the Girls' Learning Trust, a multi-academy trust that was formed in September 2015 and comprises of three girls' secondary schools, us, Nonsuch, for girl, Nonsuch High School for Girls and Carshulton High School for Girls. And the trust is overseen by our CEO, Jane Burton. Now you may already have heard quite a lot about multi-academy trusts or MATs because they're becoming a key feature of the educational landscape in the UK. Being part of a MAT allows us to share best practice from the excellent teaching in all schools, those are the ideas, the experience and talents of staff, as well as creating extracurricular and enrichment opportunities for students across the Trust. It means that we can use our resources efficiently and share services, which means that we're able to deliver a consistently excellent educational experience. But it's important for me to explain that each school in the Trust retains its own identity. This is crucial to how we operate as a Trust. Each school has its own strengths, its own legacy, which is important to maintain. So each school still has its own head teacher, its own leadership teams and its own local governing body. Now, on a more practical level, you'll be aware that we are a selective school. This can naturally lead to some anxiety amongst parents and their daughters. So I want to finish by making two points. Firstly, I'd like to just take you briefly through the admissions process for applications to Wallington. It's important to note that the applications process for Wallington is in two parts. The first part is the selective eligibility test, or the SET test. And this is common to the six schools in the London Borough of Sutton who have wholly or partially selective intakes. This test comprises of an English test and a maths test, and both of these are multiple choice. If you pass the set test, then you will be invited to sit a second stage test that is common to both selective schools in the Trust. In other words, Wallington and non such. This test comprises of an English paper and a maths paper and neither of these will be multiple choice. Both the set test and the second stage test are based on the work which children will be doing and have done at key stage two in their primary schools. So during this evening please do visit the admissions team who are based in our new library and study centre and who can discuss this process with you in more detail. You can also find detailed information on the admissions process on our school website. Secondly, at Warrington we strongly believe in the power of education to shape people's lives and in the principle that education should be open to girls from different backgrounds to study and learn together and from each other. So we particularly welcome applications from children who are in receipt of pupil premium. 
In fact, for entry in September 2019 onwards, our admission policy now prioritises 35 places for such students above all of our other oversubscription criteria, as well as lowering the pass mark for these children by up to 10% in order to fill these places. If those children are successful in gaining a place here at Wellington, then we also provide financial support with buying uniform, paying for transport, school equipment and so on. And I think it's also important to point out that children who are on receipt of pupil premium are very successful here at Wallington. This year, Schools Week identified Wallington as being the sixth school nationally out of every secondary school in England for progress of pupil premium students at GCSE. So, to conclude, you've heard from us what makes Wallington special and unique and what it could offer your daughter when she comes to us in Year 7. That academic excellence, combined with care, guidance and support, with many, many opportunities for your daughter to develop and flourish, allowing her to excel in her life beyond school and, going back to the school motto, become a maker of the future. I very much hope that after visiting us this evening, and listening to all that we have to offer, that you will choose Wallington for your daughter. And we very much look forward to receiving your application. Unfortunately, we now have back-to-back -back speeches tonight, so we don't have the luxury of time to take any questions. However, please do talk to staff around the school, who will be able to help you. And if you still have any questions, then please do email the school, and someone will respond to your query. Thank you so much for listening and please enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you.